Hello guys, welcome to this channel ENT. Welcome to this tutorial on installing Icarus Verilog and running your first Verilog program. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced user, this video will guide you step by step. Let's get started. Search for Icarus Verilog download in the search bar. Now, click on the first link that appears, which is from blair.org. On the website, find the download section and select the latest version that is first one. Now, within a second, the Icarus Verilog file will be downloaded to your system. Just click on the downloaded file to open it. Once the installer opens, you'll see the setup window. First, select I accept the agreement and then click Next. After that, you'll see an option to choose components, make sure to select both of them. Now, click Next and again tick both of them and click on Install. It won't take long. Now the Icarus Verilog successfully downloaded to your system. All right. Now, let's find Icarus Verilog on our system. First, open Windows Search and type File Explorer. Click to open it. Next, in the search bar of File Explorer, type Iverlog and hit Enter. You should see a folder named Iverlog. Open it, and inside, you'll find a folder called bin. This is where all the important files are stored. Now, let's create a new Verilog file. Inside the same bin folder, right-click anywhere and select New Text Document. Open the new text document, and here, we'll write our Verilog code. I had previously written a Verilog code for a NOR gate. Now, instead of writing everything from scratch, I'll just copy that code and modify it to create an XOR gate. Next, I'll replace the XOR gate logic with the correct expression. Finally, I'll save this file as XOR underscore gate dot V. Don't forget to select all file while saving the file. For XOR, we written code, in the next step we will be writing test bench. Now, I'll copy the NOR gate test bench since the structure remains the same. I'll make a few necessary changes to match the XOR gate logic. After modifying it, I'll save this file as zorgatet.v. Again don't forget to select all file. So, at this point, we have saved both files, XOR.v which contains the main XOR gate logic, and zertb.v, which contains the test bench. Now, it's time to run the program. I'll go back to the bin folder, as you can see. Next, I'll cut this path and open CMD. Here, I will enter the necessary commands to compile and simulate the Verilog code. You can find all these commands in the description PDF, so feel free to refer to that. And finally, the output for XOR appears, as expected. Now, let's check the waveform using GTQWave. As you can see, the waveform aligns with the expected output. That's it. Now you're ready to write and simulate any Verilog code using this process. Hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you found it helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.